Mm. Does anybody else love hot cross buns? Even though it's January. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know you're probably thinking, here she is again. She's back for like a day. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just So I'm pretty sure the last upload I did, I only had one child. No, sorry. I had two children, but my daughter, my second daughter was just a newborn. So that's actually the last time I posted. Since then, I fell pregnant again as most of you will already know, and if you don't, well, there you go. Um, I am now a mother of three, and that means I am super busy all the time. Yeah. So I guess that's my excuse as to why you haven't seen my face on YouTube in forever. So anyway, enough about me. How are you? How was your 2020? Are we all sick of it yet? Are we all sick of wearing masks? Are we all sick of signing into places? I know I am, but I guess we're just going to have to get used to it for a little while. But anyway, so today's video, I thought I would compare. I'm not going to review because I feel like it's a bit old now. I mean, this foundation from Huda Beauty came out at least five, six months ago at least. I do like it. I enjoy using it, but I thought let's do a comparison between the other Huda Beauty foundation. So here I have the new, the newer, um, stick foundation. So this is the faux filter skin finish, buildable coverage foundation stick. And this one is the original faux filter high coverage cream foundation. So obviously I know there is going to be a difference in coverage, but I just wanted to see the comparison between the two and I'll let you guys decide which one you like better. I've really been taking care of my skin. I don't particularly need all the coverage that this baby right here brings, but let's just have a look and we'll have a play and you can let me know your thoughts at the end. So yeah, let's get straight into it. All right, so I have done my eye makeup obviously, but if you guys want to know this look, then I'll post it in the comments down below. So for this comparison, I'm going to obviously be doing one side of my face using the stick foundation and one side using the original liquid foundation. So I'm also going to use the matching primers that each of these came with. So the stick foundation actually came with the water jelly foundation primer, <laughs> which is this one. You can tell I've been, it's been a while, yeah? So, <laughs> oh. why am I even doing this? Okay, so this side of my face, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Stick Foundation, also with the accompanying, 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 the primer that fucking came with it, <laughs> okay? It's the Water Jelly Primer. I love this one. I have used it heaps of times before. And on this side with the Faux Filter Liquid, I'm going to be using the Complexion Perfection Primer. This is the one that correlates with this one. So... Let's begin, shall we? Um, I've just moisturized my face, nothing special. I'm going to take one pump of the water jelly and just apply that on this side of my face. And then I'm going to take the Complexion Perfection and use that on the other side of my face. I love the smell of this one, by the way. Initial thoughts, this one feels a little bit more like dewy whereas this one kind of dried matte very fast this one is yeah it's very smooth whereas this one's kind of like tacky i can definitely feel that it's going to stick whatever else is going on there next right on there okay so i'm just going to take the stick foundation by the way i'm using both in the same shade so it's both shade 320g Tres Leches. I'm also going to be using the accompanying, that fucking word again. I'm also going to be using the brush that it, I can't even speak today. The brush that it came with, um, this is the face build and buff blush. So I'm going, blah. do I just turn it off now? Oh, oh, fuck. Okay. Let's go. So I'm just using this side to kind of just push that product in. And then the other side, I guess, is to kind of just buff it. Do you guys like how I've done my brows, by the way? 
I used a new technique to kind of give it that brow lamination look. If you guys want to, leave me a comment if you want to know how I achieved the brow look. Show you guys close up. And I will do that for you. Okay, so that's half my face done. So this is the stick foundation from Huda Beauty and this is my bare skin. Not for long. Faux filter. I'm only going to use one pump to start off with. I think I've almost finished this one actually. This is how we go with one pump and I'm using the other face buff and blend brush. The other one is double ended and this is the original one that came with the first foundation. So just yeah, you guys can immediately see the difference in coverage. The color is the same, which I would expect it to be since that it is the same shade, 320G. But I feel like, oh my God, it's so hard to blend, like compared to the other one, compared to the stick one, I'm having trouble making it move. I'm kind of just pressing it in rather than dragging it down. It's not allowing me to kind of drag it down. It's getting stuck. But coverage wise, I mean, I mean, you can see. Do you know what? Looking at it in the mirror, there's not much difference, hey. I feel like this one looks a bit more luminous, but coverage wise, one pump got me the same coverage as pretty much covering my entire face with the stick. I guess that's full coverage. It is buildable, so you can always build it up. But yeah, first impressions, in the comparison very similar i would say but yeah i just feel like this one's given me more of like a radiant glow from within okay this side with the faux filter original is quite tacky still i feel like it hasn't set whereas this one feels smoother it's definitely set into my skin but it's still giving me like that nice glowy look where this one definitely needs to be set with powder like it's sticking to my fingers like have a look you can see the foundation on my fingers. So to contour, for the sake of this video, I'm using the Huda Beauty Tantor in the shade... <laughs> Off <Off> me. <laughs> in the shade Lights. Yeah, I left it open and then it kind of like cracked. Sorry. It still works. I'm just using this brush from It Cosmetics. It's the Heavenly Luxe Complexion. I like this one because it has a small side and it's good for nose contouring. So let's contour. And then we'll go and set the rest of the face afterwards. So again, for the sake of this video, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. This is in the shade Toasted Almond 20G. Contoured highlight, I'm just going to set the rest of my face and finish the rest of my makeup and I will be back with my final thoughts. Okay hey guys, final look is done. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But overall, I feel like coverage is the same, colors the same. The only thing I can start to see is on this side of my face, which is the liquid side, it started to kind of like settle into my smile line right there. But this side hasn't. Um, and yeah, just a little bit more of my texture is showing on the liquid side as opposed to much smoother on the stick side. So. All in all, I love both, but I am leaning more towards this one. I just feel like the finish is much nicer. It wasn't as tacky, it wasn't as sticky, it didn't transfer. Okay guys, so that's it from me for now. I will check back with you in a few hours just to see how both sides are going and I'll let you know my thoughts. So I will be right back. Hey guys, okay, so I am back to check in with you all regarding the foundation. So I honestly, can't see a difference so it literally it hasn't budged first of all it's so hot outside and I am sweating in here like if I didn't know that these are two different foundations I honestly couldn't tell there's no indication whatsoever that I have two different foundations on my face at the moment I mean I do set them the same way let me just see if like they're transferring Okay, I've just grabbed two paper towels. I just want to do like a transfer test. So this side is the stick foundation. Okay, so that's coming out clean. Now I have this one here. Let's do this side. Okay. 
I feel like if I had to be really, really, really picky, this one has transferred like ever so slightly, but I don't even think that it counts at this point um, compared to the, yeah, look, I don't know. I feel like if you've already had the liquid foundation, you don't particularly need to go out and buy the stick. Yeah, no, I can't tell. They, they look identical to me. Don't, you don't need to go out and buy the stick if you already have the liquid one, in my opinion. Uh, but of course, if you are a ride or die Huda Beauty fan, then by all means, go out and get it and support her. But yeah, I both look flawless in every angle. Well, guys, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out my other ones here. Let me know what you want to see down in the comments below. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Add me on Instagram at Belinda Masri. And I will see you all on the next video. Mwah.